Well, good evening. And at the Expo, a possible AA regional boys final preview is unbeaten Oxford Hills traveling to meet five and one Portland, a game that lived up to the billing. Portland led by nine entering the fourth. And here comes Oxford Hills. Tegan Pelletier dumps it into Tanner Bickford for two. Oxford Hills on top. Portland responds. Remy Jawani can't leave him alone. Brady Toer finds him in the corner, knocks down the three Bulldogs up 44 42. Vikings the other way, place him inside out. Bickford to Eli Soren, big three. Vikings go up one, 45 44. Just over a minute to play. Tied. Bickford comes up big again. The corner three. Vikings by three. Portland's D needs to make a play. It makes a play with 19 seconds left. The triple team leads to the Wani lay-in. Portland pulls within one with 19 to play. Oxford Hills would miss a pair of free throws, opening the door for Portland, but the Viking defense holds. Portland almost knocks it down. Oxford Hills prevails 48-47. They're 7-0. All right, great game in North Berwick. Noble hosting Gorham. Under 90 seconds to play. Ashton LeClaire, the three for Gorham. Game tied at 61. Under 20 to play. Rams up by two. Bryce Guitar, the jumper, forces overtime. In overtime, Jameer Rose, the three to give Noble the lead. Then Gionette Baker, the jumper in the lane. And Noble with the big win, 72-69 in OT over Gorham. Thornton visiting Wyndham tonight. TA attacking the glass. Eddie Maycomer inside the second chance points. Then Wyatt Benoit, same area, the second chance point, the turnaround J. Wyndham actually led at the half by four thanks to A.J. Moody's buzzer beating reverse. But Will Davies helps TA rally. He had 22, 69, 62, TA 6 and 0. Chevris visiting Scarborough tonight. Red Storm trapping, pays off. Blake Harris the steal. He goes in. Red Storm down three in the second. Scarborough in the zone and Chevris with the zone buster. Silvano Ishmael from deep. 71 50. Chevris Ishmael with 26. Edward Little visiting Deering. Eddie's working it around for the last shot before half. Marshall Adams gets the shooter's bounce. He had 14. Edward Little, the road win, 64 54. Now, two of the biggest early season games taking place near the New Hampshire border tonight, including a showdown of two Class A contenders, Marshwood and Falmouth. Falmouth would take a 16 point lead into the fourth, but the Hawks go on a run. Jason Singer, the steal, the lay in. Then Cooper Aguirre from downtown knocks down the three. Navigator lead down to nine. But Paul Dilworth steps up, the put back inside, and the foul. Then Lucas Dilworth in transition. He had 19, 48 34, found with a big road win. York taking on Lake Region. Jacob Chadbourne, the jumper for, your, uh, for the Lakers, he had 16 for Lake Region. Other way for the Wildcats, Connor Reberge, the three, he had 14. Then Derek Parsons, the nice feed to Lucas Bouchard, led the way with 26 points and 12 rebounds, 61-31 York all over Lake. Yarmouth hosting Wells tonight. Matt Gautreaux controlling the offense, finds Justin Dawes for the bucket, Clippers by 15 at the break. Then eight Hagador in the outlet to Gautreaux for the fancy reverse lay-in, it's all Yarmouth. Then later, Y-Town out and running, Stevie Walsh in transition, the pretty hoop, 66-42 Yarmouth, the Clippers are three and two. Great of Gloucester hosting Freiburg Academy. Camden Johnson spots up, knocks it down for Freiburg. Other way, Uncle Nate. Nate Hebert answering with a three of his own. He did a lot of that tonight, made nine threes, had 29 points, and Gray prevails 60 to 47 behind Hebert's big game. Greeley visiting Freeport tonight. Hayden MacArthur, slippery in the paint. The scoop shot is good for the Rangers. Then Seamus Raftis, this is the story, he knocks down the three. 12 threes on the game for Greeley. Raftis led the way with 22. Connor Smith would try and get Freeport back in, and he had 18. But too much Greeley. Tate Nato inside working the glass for two. 72-41 Greeley, the road win. KVAC showdown in Bath. Morris hosting Lincoln Academy. Shipbuilders working inside to Gabe Morris, and he had 12. It was a battle of the Gabes. Gabe Hager the other way for Lincoln Academy. The steal, he is going coastal for two. Then Tyson Ball working on the glass for the Eagles, and Hager swings by to scoop it up. He had 27 on the night, 50-38 to 38 Lincoln. Eagles are 5-1 on the year. A milestone night at the beach as senior star Elise McNair entering the night on the cusp of 1,000 career points. We go to the Old Orchard hosting Sockabee Valley. Seagulls in transition. Sarah Davis ahead to McNair who was lighting it up in the first half for 
She had the bucket there. Then Summer St. Louis ahead to McNair. She had 28 in the first half to go over 1,000 in her career. Finished with 32, the sixth player in school history for the girls at Old Orchard to do that. 71-45 Old Orchard with the win. Unbeaten Thornton Academy hosting Wyndham. Hannah Cook stepping up. What's she got cooking? The three. Trojans up 9-0, or rather a 9-0 run. To, and then Cook, she had 17. Eagles respond with a 9-0 run of their own. Abby Thornton with the layup. But the other way, Kylie Lamson knocks down the triple. She had 16. 55-43 Thornton Academy to win. Scarborough visiting Chevrous looking for the upset tonight. Caroline Hartley can't leave her open. She'll make you pay. Knocks down the jumper. She had 12. Maddie Fitzpatrick then driving, dishing to Emma Lazat, who had 14, gets the friendly roll. 67-40 Chevrous. They're 7-1. Fitzpatrick had 19. Gorham hosting Noble tonight. Rams with the early press. Lauren Dunbar with the steal and the bucket. Ellie Gay spotting up. Hits the three. She had 13. 72-17 Gorham. 200 career win for Ram head coach Lon Berthew. Unbeaten Brunswick hosting Levitt. The Dragons, Maddie Werner. She had a hot start. Gets to the hoop, the basket. Inside, you know what? She's got a knack for scoring when the cameras are around. She scored four points, all of them, with the WMTW camera in the barn. That was actually enough for a lead for Brunswick in the first half as they were up 16-0 after one. 43-32 Brunswick with the win over Levitt. Falmouth visiting unbeaten Mount Ararat in a big A South showdown. Navigators D turning into offense. Katie Lazaridis with the steal and then the basket and one. For Falmouth, Maddie Crispin, watch this, the nice adjustment on the block shot, grabs it, puts it back up, Falmouth up 10. Kennedy Lampert tries to ignite a comeback, she hits the three for Mount Ararat, but Falmouth with a road win, 49-37, handing Mount Ararat its first loss, and a Turgeon at 26. Wells hosting Yarmouth tonight, quick start for the Warriors. Marin Maxson pulls up, fills it up, Warriors up 13-4. Other way for Yarmouth, Nina Panazzo, the lay-in, she had 10 points for the Clippers. But Haley Marshall answers back for Wells with the step back three. 58-43, Wells the impressive win. All right, last stop of the night, Westbrook and Biddeford. Natalie Labrie coming up with a steal in the backcourt for the Blue Blazes. Hits Kylie Young for the lay-in. Westbrook up by 21. Now Audrey Doolittle drives, dishes to Leah Cromarty for the lay-in. She had 15 points. Westbrook with the impressive win tonight, 61-27 over Bitterford. That right there, Hoop Safe for tonight. More total coverage at 11 when we come back.